uh, thank you very much for joining us on another video every day ish every other day um, we're trying to bring you um, some highlights here uh, I would say two highlights of Pat fire move Pat fire move uh, this is gonna be from the win uh, over the Lions again this is gonna be his two touchdowns uh, I just want to break them down or what I noticed what I my reaction from them is that the confidence and the trust that uh, Big Ben Roethlisberger had in the rookie Pat Fryer. Um, I want to say on the first one, it was like third and seven, third and seven in the red zone. They could have easily went for uh, maybe just to get the, get the first down. I want to say Najee. Najee was like, took a little quick uh, quick route out. Uh, he could have been the safe, safe pick up the seven, pick up the first down. But again, he hits Pat Fryer in the end zone for the touchdown, uh, scoring the first touchdown of the game. Uh, and just the way he was able to come down with it, he was able to pretty much awkwardly go with a twist, come down with the ball, uh, hold on to secure it. This one you can see with Big Ben with his infamous uh, uh, pump fake. Fakes everybody out, cameraman, everybody in the crowd don't even know where the ball's at. Um, uh, coming up with the second one, same incidents. Steelers do a very good job going down the field. Again, in the red zone, I believe here they're like third and four, uh, even four yards if I'm not mistaken. Um, again, instead of taking that first down, confidence, what are they going to do? Do the miss, not convert, and have to settle for a field goal? No, he has the confidence. And this Ooh, another one? Pat Fire move. Did he Fire get a deuce for the game? And was able to hit him again. With the touchdown in the end zone. Now with the touchdown, I'm more than confident he turned yeah. it around to the referee and he told him, hey man, this guy right here says he never drops in the end zone. I'm going to keep throwing it to him until he proves us wrong. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's a pick. Or he said, he turned around and said something to him. I'm not too sure what Good he job, said. But, Good job, sir. Um, just like, what are you He's going to be testing him out throughout. All right, let's see if you can catch this one. All right, see if you can catch this one. And that's that's good. You know, I mean, it's the fact that when it's when it, when it counts, when, it, when it's when it's on the line, and there's a bag on it, he was able to he was able to to, to handle his business. So it's good to see from the, the rookie pad prior move. Um, another thing that I wanted to touch base on is that it's definitely going to cause problems when it comes down to him going out in the open field. There was a play. I think it was the one where Johnson, where um, Roethlisberger was able to hit Johnson, who was out there right there with him. Pat fire move, so it's going to be easy to know that he can go out there. He's going to be like that vertical threat. I mean, it's it's again with all due respect. It, 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 it I mean, it's interesting to see what what it would have been like if Roethlisberger would have hit uh, Pat fire move after that scramble. You know what I mean? Hey, catch this one. Pat fire move probably would have came down with it. That looked like yeah, that would have been easy compared to the other two. But again. We don't know what it could have, should have, we wouldn't know. But it's interesting to see where they go from this point going further. A, is Pat Firemuth going to be potentially that go-to guy if Eric Ebron keeps coming up with these drops? So, again, we shall see. Only time will tell. But it was definitely good to see this from our rookie Pat Firemuth. Um... Uh, again, we'll probably make another video here uh, when it comes down to what we're going to expect for our Steelers uh, versus the Carolina Panthers. It's going to be the last final preseason game. Again, thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Tell me what you think.